Sony may be working on native PS3 backwards compatibility. This is Eddie's Gunner at Game Rant. Sony could be working on a solution to make PlayStation 3 games natively playable on PS5 consoles, according to recent claims made by a reputable insider. Despite some of Sony's latest efforts to remedy the issue, the PS5's underwhelming backwards compatibility has been a consistent point of criticism for the otherwise impressive current-gen consoles, in large part because most games from previous PlayStation generations, sans the PS4 era, aren't playable on the PS5. If this rumor is to be believed, though, uh, then Sony might finally fix one of the biggest flaws with its current hardware offering by providing native support for PlayStation 3 games on PS5. Here's the thing. Right, they say the the biggest flaw in the current hardware offering. Have we not forgotten that Bloodborne still can be played in sixty FPS? Oh, right? I haven't forgotten. Let's focus. I on got the shit. Real I, got, I got shit last week because I said that I will never play that game unless it's sixty FPS. Dude, I saw a Facebook I post about. You know, what's serious when I log into Facebook and like somebody was like, "Can you believe Rogers said this thing about thirty FPS?" They I'm like, did. Yeah. Oh shit. I'm like, I never. I got haters on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, no, you got haters That's on Facebook, fire, dude. Which is crazy. That's awesome. I was like, calm down, everybody. All right, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> Let the man I'm play a, sixty FPS. That is games. so funny. That yeah. is that is a new comment <laughs> section I got for me. Yeah, no, fuck that. I'm not playing that game until it's sixty FPS. Yes. I mean, it is good though. You I know it's great, yeah, yeah, but like legally, I can't do that. Same thing with Red Dead Redemption That's 2. <laughs> Once you fucking update that motherfucker, I can't do it. It is part of your contract with it, Nvidia. It is, it is, it is. PlayStation owners may soon have the ability to play PS3 games on Sony's modern consoles without having to stream them through the cloud. That is or that's at least according to the credible insider special nick <laughs> why is it spe- why do you have the h in there special, special nick special who alleged on the latest episode of the xbox era podcast that sony is reportedly planning to make ps3 games natively playable on ps5 the reputable leaker sources apparently told him that sony is working on select play- playstation 3 backwards compatibility for the ps5 uh, the word select in this context seemingly indicates that Sony will individually handpick uh, some PS3 titles to make playable on the PS5, similar to what Microsoft did uh, with the backwards compatible games on Xbox One and Xbox Series X slash S. When this was mentioned, a chat member from the live stream podcast brought up the idea of PS3 games potentially having their frame rates and resolutions boosted on the PS5. Hmm. However, when asked, Special Nick uh, <laughs> said that he wasn't exactly sure about the specifics. About time, blessing. About time. About time. About, about time. I mean, like, is it going to happen, though? Yes, it's, it it's will. It's an insider, which I like a lot of insiders are right about a lot of things. Special Nick, I think, has been proven right quite a few times. Correct me if I'm wrong, if he's actually wrong all the time. But, like, I don't know, man. I've been waiting for this forever. I think it's going to happen. It's not going to be everything that you want, everybody. Every, everyone's saying Metal Gear Solid 4. That is not happening. That you is don't think going, so? They are going to have the collection, too. That is going to be part of their mm. own thing that they're going to sell for 60 bucks. Like, there's no way that PlayStation is going to do all this work and they'll be like, okay, it's part of PS Plus now. No. It is, this is going to be something that select games, of course, I think first party games, which is going to be great for yeah. a lot of PS3 well, that, games. And I wanted to get into that conversation. Because, yeah. one, I think select games for me also implies that these games are going to get some special treatment as far as like boosting oh, on I PS5. Don't, I don't know about that. You think it's going to be straight up emulation, like emulation? I think ports? It, I, I mean, I don't know about boosting frame rates. I think you're going to get higher re- resolutions. I don't know no, about I mean boosting that too. Rates, I guess yeah. bo- I, boosting I use as a general term for yeah. like improvements on the PS5. Um, like they're going to play somewhat better. Maybe better resolution, maybe better uh, FPS. Chat, I would love if you guys can let me know if any of the old school, like the PS3, not PS2 and like Vita games that are on PlayStation 4, do they yeah. have like boosts or anything? I know they probably have resolution boosts. They have like frame rate boosts. Like if that's something that, that PlayStation's actually doing, then but, like, I see that. <clears throat> PS2 games... Didn't they just run at 60 anyway? Or was that when games started going back to 30? Well, that's fair. That's fair. It's a good call. No. There's zero chance Canadian in chat. Oh, they, no. all, they all run worse, as people are saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. We're celebrating Pride Month with a brand new drop designed by kind of funny best friend, Cameron French. We have tank tops, t-shirts, crewnecks, and more. So whether you're going to the beach or the mountains this summer, we've got you covered. And we're donating a portion of sales to two incredible organizations, Queer Life Space and Denver-based Center on Colfax. Head over to kindoffunny.com slash store before the month ends. Yeah, uh, yeah so I, I don't think that this is the angle that PlayStation is playing, right? That is very much an Xbox thing, right? They're, they have a whole team dedicated to going mm-hmm. back and trying to make this technology. I don't think that's... Well, like, I think the bare for, minimum. I think it's the bare minimum. PS4, though, like for the PS4 games on PS5, that was part of the marketing. Yeah. Now, granted, but it is PlayStation. Yeah, that's true. PlayStation, anything before PS4 for PlayStation, they're like, ah, the fuck it. Like, yeah. these, they don't care. Yeah, exactly. They won't buy it. They won't pay money for it, and so we'll do the bare minimum. Yeah. But I would hope, I would hope that, like, I don't know, we get some kind of improvements. Otherwise, it's like, then why just do select? Why not just, like, make 
do like a lot of the library then. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think it's going to be select in the t- terms of like the PlayStation Plus collection, right? Like it's mm-hmm. going to be droves and like and batches or whatever, where one month you're going to get, you know, Uncharted 1, 2, not 3. The next month you're going to get 3. three. Like you're going to get weird, weird things like that. I think that's the reason select is what it's not going to be, hey, you can put a PS3 disc in and it's going to work. It's not going to be that. So my question then becomes what are the select games? If you're PlayStation, not even if you're PlayStation. If yeah. we're putting ourselves into the minds of PlayStation, what are the games? Let's say we're going to start off, we're going to port 10 games to PS5. 10 PS3 games. Infamous is one of them. It's got to be. It's got to be Infamous. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you one go- and two? You start with one, you go to two later. You know what I mean? Like, you, I'm saying, like, God, I hate, I hate this. This is what's going to happen. Like, this is what's going to happen. Like, it's going to be like, oh, eventually we get to, to, to two. Um, Infamous for me is like a huge blind spot in my gaming history, and I would love to play that game. I think that's a cool. That's it's just, fun. It, it, I, I think I've played a little bit of it at my friend Quinn Murray's house. Shout out to Quinn Murray. Mm-hmm. I don't know what you're doing. Quentin Murray? Quinn Murray. His name Quinn Murray. Yeah. I don't know what he's doing. But, um, yeah, I want to play that game, and I just have not had a way to play it. Again, Metal Gear Solid 4 would be the ideal one. I don't think that's going to happen. I, I Man. I would love it to, I would love for it to happen, but I think you're the the collection thing does throw a wrench yeah. into it. I I'm with you as far as infamous. I'm gonna throw out there little big planet. Mm, yeah, I think you make I guess one or two or <laughs> all available. of them. Who cares? Or all of them. I don't know. Um, or do people like the PS3 Ratchet and Clank games? Mm, yeah, some like of them. One of those. Probably. One of those. Yeah, <clears throat> I was trying to think of like. Maybe God of War, but God of War three already got ported to or like uh, has a remaster for, for PS four and stuff. Yeah, I'll throw Resistance in there. Put Last of Us again. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking about that too. I was like, do you do you pour Last of Us uh, an eighteenth? God time? of War three, of course, right? Like you're getting you're getting those. Well, ones. that's what he was, was talking about. Oh, as far oh as sorry, remastered. sorry. It was remastered for PS four. Yeah, so you're it's already right. Available on PS five. Right. My bad. Um, I'm trying to think. Like, do, uh, is there any third party games that you do this with? I feel like there are. Yeah, but again, like UFC Undisputed Three. <laughs> yeah, sure. Sly me. Cooper, that's a great one. Sly Cooper is a great Ooh, yeah. one for Thieves in Time. I'm not a Sly Cooper brother. Or is it for, <laughs> no, is that a Vita game? No, that was on PS3 as well. That was, is that already on PlayStation? I don't know. No, the PS2 game, I think the first one just got a uh, release on PS Plus. Gotcha. Those, gotcha. but they had like the collections though. Yeah. On PS3. So you could do Sly Collection. You could do fucking but that Shadow was, Colossus. But Eco that was collection. streaming only like through. Um, PS Plus or whatever. No, I'm talking about the PS3 collections. People are saying Revengeance. Like the fi- they had the physical games. Oh, yeah. yeah is yeah. Revengeance part of that? that Revengeance? Is that part of the, the collection? No, it's not. It says yeah. 1000% not. You don't think so? No. <laughs> I don't think so. You don't so. think Konami likes extra money? Not for. They don't look at Revengeance and go, this is going to make us the extra buck <laughs> on this thing. I don't know, man. I don't know. Because I think and about it. It's also it. the Metal Gear Solid collection, right? Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Actually, well, don't one put off. me on that. Yeah, it I, might not be cl- solid because they do have the original Metal Gear games in there. So I actually, I'm wrong about that. But I just don't see Revenge as being part of it. It says Metal Gear. Oh, no, no. This is the HD collection. Yeah. But I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. It's, it's always a tricky thing, right? Because you see all these, like, uh, the holdouts, even from the Xbox, um, the backwards compatibility with uh, Lollipop Chainsaw being one of the ones that, like, never came over. And, see, then they, I, and they, rem- they remastered the game. They didn't remake it. I was gonna, I was gonna say like now that Lollipop Chainsaw is about to come out, <laughs> Lollipop Chainsaw was called Repop or something. Yeah, shit. something like that. Like, do you think they look at this like when they announce this? You think they're like, ah, oh, fuck, no. <laughs> we didn't have to do all this work. No, they're very happy. We're gonna sell five copies of this. Did thing. you watch the trailer? No, <laughs> it's not. It doesn't look like that much work. <laughs> Let's be completely honest. It looks it looks very similar to the original PS uh, PS3 and Xbox 360 games. So right. I wonder. I think it's just a way to double dip. For now some I've companies. typed in best PlayStation 3 games, Roger. Okay. All right. As I go through Red Dead Redemption. Already ported. It's already not going to be that. We talked about Uncharted already. Yeah. But also Uncharted has the, um, yeah, the, the PS4 the, collection. Yep. Um, Batman Arkham. That's already, yeah. It's also already has a collection PS, uh, PS4 Arkham Asylum and City. Maybe, Roger, maybe yeah. Arkham Origins. Mm. I know. They forgot about it. They I forgot know, they, about it. But that'll be w- cool, ha- though. WB hates that game for some reason. Actually, I could see it. I could see that as like a random Tuesday drop. It's like, I, you know what? Actually, it's part of the thing now. Arkham that'd Origins, cool. that'd be sick. XCOM, Enemy Unknown. <coughs> now I'm just deep in the list. Yeah, you're in the wrong list. Yeah, you're seeing a bunch of things. Yeah, Borderlands. Uh, I know people love X- X- but I also, I'm, I would be shocked if XCOM, Enemy Unknown didn't have a PS4 version playable. I'm sure it does, yeah. Yeah, I'd be curious to see. Now, now that we've gone through all the games that have been remastered, I'm like, yeah, I guess I can see why PlayStation hasn't done like a full, or like hasn't put a lot of effort into like maintaining PS3 games on yeah. PS5 because there was an era especially early PS4 where everything was just getting remastered. Everything was being put out on PS4 because that wasn't backwards compatible. Tokyo Jungle. 
Somebody says bless Eco. I mentioned Eco before with the collection. Yeah. Right? Like the Shadow Colossus collection would have Eco in there. Um, and that would be such a slam fucking dunk. Darhawk. Layer. Now we're just wasting time. <laughs> <laughs> Puppeteer. 